Hey everyone! Hey guys! How is it going? Checking in here from sunny Jacksonville, Florida. If you guys are watching this on the replay, please fast forward to the five minute mark for the big announcement. But for the first five minutes, we're going to wait for everybody to come in and we're going to check in and say hi. So if you're here watching, leave a comment below. Tucker, stop! <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Let us know that you can see us and hear us. Everything okay? Checking in. Hi, Feline. Hi, Nadine. Good day, Steve. You want to say hi to some people, Will? Sure. No, that's your job. What's going on? Everybody can see us okay and hear us okay? Perfect. How's it going, Scott? Up in ATL. How is it going? Uh, yeah, just checking in, you know, uh, we're going to wait till the five minute mark. We have some big announcements about the Tampa RV show and yeah, perfect. Everybody can see us. Okay. And hear us okay. Sean Lynch is here. Where is Andrea? Andrea's at home. Me, Will and Jen, we're here in Jacksonville recording for the next couple days. Um, let me show everybody this. Andrea was here and Yuna and Tucker got to hang out for a little while while we were at this airbnb but now um uh what's going on what's going on but now we're here and we're recording for the next few days for the total channel uh if you guys didn't hear the announcement will is officially a general rv employee yes thank you all and uh starting january 1st we are putting out a towable video every single day so it's a lot of work and it's a lot of recording right perfect uh so Perfect. Everybody can hear us. Hi from Georgia. Roll call. Let me hear you say that, Will. Roll call. Roll call. <laughs> Check in, y'all. Let us know where you're watching from. Just your city and state. Um, let us know where you're watching from. Thanks so much, Izzy and MJ. Yes, Can't thank wait you. to see you guys next week. Congrats, Will. Everybody, thank congrats. You. you know, thanks for the daily tobles. Yeah, we sure hope our goal for uh, this year is to make the Tobal channel bigger than this channel. Um, and just, you know, make it, make it awesome. Wow. Salisbury, Maryland. Hi, Tom and Missy. New York. How's it going? Wow. We had somebody from the Netherlands. Wow. Wow. Raleigh, North Carolina, Erie, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Illinois, New York. Read that, Will. Say hi to Eric Beard. Hi, Eric Beard. <laughs> We got California. Frankie, we got your email. We will call you after yes. this live broadcast. Long Island, Columbus, New York. Man, South, South Cloud, Florida, Texas. A lot of people from all over the place. Um, anybody from Jacksonville, Florida? It kind of smells as we go over the bridge to Jacksonville <laughs> Beach. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. But, uh, yeah, Pensacola, Akron, Ohio. What's the best Class B out there? The video we just did yesterday, the Winnebago Travato, is the first Class B I have ever liked, the 59G. Um, Plus, it's built really well. It's built really well. It was a beautiful color, red oh, exterior yeah. color, and everything about that was awesome. Man, Indiana. Somebody said that's just Jacksonville. You know? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Seattle, Washington, uh, Hanover, Pennsylvania. Matt, that was me farting. Oh, it wasn't yeah. me farting. Uh, what's your favorite Class A? Great question. We will explain what our favorite Class A is in a few minutes after the five-minute mark. Uh, Arizona, everything. Oh, the Philippines. Thanks so much for watching. Huh. Fan life. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Andrea. Hey. How's it going? Great. Well, she's not on. She's just chatting. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Lives in Australia. Perfect. So we are at the five minute mark. So we need to make an announcement about the uh, meet and greet yep. January 13th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So originally, hang on a second, y'all. Let me go to my banners. Oh, not banners. Let me go to this. So originally, if you see this first Tijuana Flats up here with the X through it, that was where it was supposed to be. But we have now changed the location another two minutes down the road 
to this location, 4027 Southdale Mulberry or Mulberry Highway, Tampa, Florida, 33611. If you're going to the meet and greet Wednesday, the first day after the show, please go to this address right there. Do not go to the other one. Please RSVP by yes. sending Will an email, willknowles at gmail.com. And anybody who has RSVP, is did they already get an email? Or will not. They? they will be getting yeah. an email tonight with the new address, okay? Now listen, it's a little bit farther, but it's not really because it's all off of I-4. So it is 11 miles away from where the Tampa RV show is. And part of the reason why we're picking this place is because that other one, you know, we it's really small, it's really small and we were pushing it with 100 people. Well, you guys are crazy, but we <laughs> love you. And uh, how many people have RSVP'd so far? 122 last time I checked. 122. And we know there's going to be a lot of you that don't RSVP. I wouldn't RSVP either, but you know, I'm, I'm, we're not mad at you for not RSVP, but we know there's going to be people who aren't RSVP. And so now we're estimating 150, 175, a lot of people. And so, um, so we needed a bigger venue. Also, plus, oh, tell them. No, more. I was just going to say, plus the parking is going to be much, much better here. So yes. it's in a shopping center. Yeah. <laughs> it's in a shopping center versus being like standalone. So, you know, there's going to be plenty of parking. Some of the other businesses will be closed by then. Correct. So we shouldn't have an issue at all with parking. Yes. So the last place, remember, we told everybody, hey, take an Uber, take yeah. a Lyft, please. There was only like eight parking spots. I'm kind of mad at myself right. that we scheduled it at that one, to be right. honest with you. Um, but this one's so much better. As you guys can see right there, there is a nice uh, area there's a Buffalo Wild Wings. There's a, a a gym there. And, you know, uh, it's 7 to 10 o'clock. Nobody's at the gym at that hour anyway. So there's tons of parking spaces. So you guys don't need a carpool. You guys can just drive on in there and everything. Yep. Also, uh, something I want to – oh, burr, burr, oh. thanks so Thank much you. for that super chat. Also, the party is, just so everybody knows, it is up – <laughs> First margaritas on us. Oh, thank great. You. Thank you. So here's what we're doing. Uh, we're paying for everything. It is what we're doing is like a catering order for a hundred people. It's gonna there's gonna be beef tacos, chicken tacos, black black beans, refried beans, stuff like that. We're paying for it all. Um, and throughout the night. We're ordering 25 more, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we're ordering 100, so everybody has food. But I imagine that not everybody's going to be eating food. Like people might grab a taco or two. Right. You know, also, there's going to be some beers there. Miller Lite, Coors Light. I can't remember. Corona, something like that. I don't know. The beers are cheap. We're paying for the beers as well. Um, we don't want you guys to, like, drink and be like, yeah, but, you know, have a beer or two or three. Just remember, we're paying for it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, um, yes, great comment. Please be careful with COVID at the meet and greet. Yes. If anybody's uncomfortable, we are not making you go. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you're uncomfortable, we are totally fine with that. Um, just don't go, you know. Um, and with that know, said, there is going to be a lot more room at this one. Yep, it's going to be open and outside and more Same room. thing applies, as we said before. You know, it is from 7 to 10. We're not expecting you to stay the whole time. You know, stop by, say hi, grab a taco. And um, and they, they also said that they have a lot more inside room, too. So if people do want to sit down and just chill for a second. Yeah. Go inside. Plenty of room outside. And, and you know, so, yeah, that's it. And here's the thing, y'all. I just want to set the expectations because we did a meet and greet in Virginia, Andre and I, and there was a couple people that I did not get to meet, and I felt like dog crap. So please know, listen, I secretly have some other YouTubers coming there. I'm not going to tell you guys who, 
Um, but but they're coming in, and I ask them not to tell their audience or their fans um, that they're coming because the reality is I will not be able to meet all of you guys, and I feel like crap doing that. Will and I will not be hanging out. We will be separated. Andrea and I won't be hanging out. We will be separated. Um, I know Izzy and MJ is going to be there, um, and we won't be hanging out with them either. They'll be separated because we want to try to meet as many of you as we can. Uh, it's just we can't. You know, I did the math, right? Math right. don't lie. And if I spent 60 seconds with every person, um, we would be there. That's the three hours. Yeah. And it's only 60 seconds. It's like one minute per person. Right. Yeah, and, it's not. And, and it's just not practical. And I, and we're going to listen, we're going to try our best. And, and I don't want to tell you guys, but we are going to have a surprise for everybody who shows up. Mm -hmm. So um, make sure you at least check into the check in spot so you can get that surprise there. And, um, you know, and again, I'm going to have some other YouTubers there. So for an example, if you don't get a chance to talk with me or Will or Andrea, at least you'll be able to talk to Izzy or MJ or both of them or you, this YouTuber or that YouTuber. You know, we're trying our best. It's just going to be very, very tough. But we appreciate everybody who's going to be there, and yes. we will make it worth it. And again, worst case scenario, you get a free taco. And worst <laughs> case scenario, listen, the best thing to do is to meet us at the show. We will be at the Nexus. Oh, hang on. Let's do this brand but yeah we will be at the uh tampa show at the nexus rv display which is right there we have our own tent it's a 10 by 15 tent and it's bright orange and it says matt's rv reviews and i'm getting a little worried because uh the tent hasn't come in yet and it said it was supposed to deliver today uh -oh. so hopefully it delivers tonight or uh tomorrow and for those of you who guys want updates on the tampa rv show let me give you guys a quick update. This is from FRVTA, uh, their YouTube channel, on just some updates about the show. This is Trey Ann with the FRVTA, and I am here at the Florida State Fairgrounds for the vendor planning session for the 2021 Florida RV Super Show. Now the show opens on January the 13th, but this is such a big show that we actually start preparations here at the fairgrounds five weeks in advance, kicking off with the vendor planning session, which we just held. On December the 21st, we actually start bringing in the RVs and we don't stop for three and a half weeks. It is going to be a big show. Now, part of the planning session that we had today was to talk about our safety measures and policies that we have in place, including enhanced uh, sanitation throughout the RVs and the entire facility, temperature checks at the gate, and masks being required when you're in RVs or in any of the buildings. Now, as we get closer to opening day, I will be posting more updates on our YouTube channel, FRVTA. So make sure to subscribe and we will See you at the show. Thank you so much for that broadcast, Trianne. Mike, back in sports, back to you. <laughs> Great. So um, that, that's the big announcement. And again, um, the party it is going to officially be the 100,000 subscriber wow. party. We were a little worried that it wasn't right. going to be, but uh, it looks like we are going to have a, um, that's going to be the party for the 100,000 subscriber party. And uh, cause it looks like we're going to hit a hundred thousand subscribers, not tomorrow, but the next day. Uh, what meteorologists that, that that's what they're predicting. So, um, so yeah. And you know, we just want to say, say thank you. And you know, can't wait, can't wait to meet you guys. Chris Wallaby can't wait to meet you. I did see your comment earlier, and that'd be awesome, but no, we're not going to have that there. Um, and, yeah, so also I, I, I do want to fill everybody in. Um, I do want to fill everybody in on uh, what we're doing at the Tampa RV Show. So we're going up Monday and Tuesday um, to record. We're going to make about 25 videos, mm -hmm. uh, maybe 30 videos, maybe 20 videos. But that's why we're saying 25. And uh, what we're doing is the official Matt's RV Reviews Awards. Um, 
And uh, what we're doing is the top five everything. Yeah. Our, our, you know, a lot of people ask all the time, Matt's, what's my favorite class A bunk motorhome? Will, what's your favorite fifth wheel? Mm -hmm. Alliance. But um, what's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? Let's do this. Let's do that. And, and, um, yes, I need to answer this. I'll answer you in a second. And so what we are doing is we are doing, we are doing the, uh, hang on a second. Joaquin, come on. Of course you're allowed to come. We hope to see you there, brother. Um, and what we're doing is top five awards. And it's just our top five of class A gas, class A gas from bunk beds, class A diesels. Toy yep. haulers, fifth wheels, this brand, that brand. And so we're going to break it down to you, and we're going to have a new video every single day on both channels uh, just promoting that. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be it's going to be the top five awards, and that's it's right. for 2021. And uh, that's where we put our money where our mouth is and, you know, not being like, oh, well, this one's my favorite, and that one's my favorite, and that one's – it's like, yo, we can only pick one. Um, and uh, there is going to be some controversies there because – for an example, I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you guys the, the winner of the fifth wheel, kind of, uh, the rear living room fifth wheels. Will thinks it's going to be a grand design or um, Will thinks it's going to be an Alliance Paradigm, uh, what, 310 or 340? 340. Yep. And I think it's going to be a grand design solitude 330 GK. So, you know, both have so strong have cases. Fight it out. We might have to fight it out. I don't know what's going to be number one. Um, but it's going to be, you know, stick around and see. Yeah. Great question, Randall. This is very important. Listen, if you guys are planning on buying at the Tampa RV show, this next announcement is an, an announcement. This next announcement is very important. Integra will be at the show. Yes. Tiffin will be at the show. Newmar will be at the show. Winnebago mm -hmm. will be at the show. Coachman, half co well, Coachman will be at the show, but we do not represent them at that show, okay? So here's how the Tampa RV show works. You have your Lazy Days, your RV1s, your Camping World, even though they won't be there, um, your Grinetskis, uh, and your General RV, and a couple other dealerships. Whatever brands we represent in the tampa market that is the brand that we are representing at the tampa rv show because there's no doubt about it right nobody sells more integra coaches than us right like like we love integra for the class e's and so you would think we would represent it but we don't because lazy days has that that, that market that market in tampa. in tampa but what you do is when you go to the show if you find an Integra Odyssey that you like, snap a picture, mm -hmm. find me at find me Will Andrea at the Max RV Reviews tent at the Nexus RV display. Fill out our form for Matt Cash. Well, all you gotta do is go to MattsRVReviews.com and fill out the Matt's Cash. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. But all you have to do is find us and we will help you. Or Go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill up the mat cash. We have a team of 10 or 15 people working, waiting yeah. for your leads. And I promise you, I promise you, we will not lose any deal at the Tampa RV show. Nope. No, I, no. I, I, I promise you that. Now, if you if you see a brand, uh, if you're interested in a Nexus or a um or a Fleetwood or a Holiday Rambler. Or the coach non core for motorhomes or any towables, whatever you see that you like that General RV is representing at the show, still fill out the Matt Cash form and tell your salesman that you need to make sure that Matt Cash form. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also find us at the tent and we will give you, uh, we will have some Matt Cash forms for yeah. you. Um, so just make sure of that. Uh, it doesn't, so how do I say this? We don't get paid off of the mat cash. We get, they, they just pay us. <laughs> Suckers. No, <I'm> just <laughs> but, and if you tell a salesman, they will give you the mat cash, but it's important 
for us to present the coupon and for you to log the Matt Cash on Matt's RV reviews to make sure that honestly that we stay employed. You know, mm -hmm. they'll give anybody the Matt Cash that asks for the Matt Cash, but it's just important for our CRM. So when they're ready to fire us, we can say, hey, look at the database and you guys rock. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, there's no other way of saying that. Um, Andrea is saying, Amber, please email Matt so he knows. And I think she said that Amber just Amber just bought something. Further down. No. She filled out the Matt Cash, but didn't hear anything. Oh. Oh no, she said she got a Winnebago today. Yeah, no, oh. se yeah, send me an email and uh let me take a picture of that. And uh we will mail Andrea will mail you some stickers. Stickers and key change. Thanks. Yeah, and, and that's another thing, you know, we're um, if you do decide to buy Fleetwood or Nexus or whatever, um, after you have your welcome packet, stop by the Nexus RV display and we will give you um, we will give you uh, some stickers and keychains and stuff. Oh, also, we will be selling stickers and keychains. We do have a few keychains mm -hmm. and we have a lot of stickers and there is some never before seen stickers like this logo right here. We actually have a sticker of that that we'll be selling at the show. And if you guys look at our merchandise and you've seen some of the shirts and stuff, uh, we we will be selling those stickers as well. And yeah. so, um, and we're we're gonna be there at the Nexus display taking pictures with people, doing this or that. Um, I don't think I'll be wearing a mask, um, cause I don't cause we don't need to, um, outside cause we're outside. But if you want to meet me and you want me to wear the mask, it's not rude. Say, hey, Matt, put that mask on, boy. I want to meet you. And I got you. <laughs> you know, and actually, I might be wearing a mask. I don't know. Whatever the rules are. I did buy some of those clear masks just in case for the picture. Did you? I did, actually. Cool. They're like these weird glasses with like, 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 you kind of look like Hannibal Lecter. It's kind of weird. I don't <laughs> know. Cool. Um, does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. Jennifer, we're in Jacksonville right now. Yeah, no, Will and I, we plan on traveling to a whole bunch of RV shows. Um, somebody messaged me the other day about a Richmond show. If Richmond's happening, listen, we're going to be in every show in um, Florida, in every show in Richmond, Virginia. Will lives two hours away from Richmond, so yeah. we'll, we'll be there. And obviously, we live in Florida. So, um, hey, thanks so much for this. Unfortunately, we won't have an award for that just because they're – you know, the, the best four are the only four. One, there's not even five. You have the Outlaw Class A, the Outlaw Class... No, there's only three. Outlaw Class A, Outlaw Class C, and the uh, Newmar Canyon Star. So, email to RSVP, please. Yes. Again, if you want to go to the uh, meet and greet, just send Will an email. That is Will Knowles, W-I-L... K N O W L E S at generalrv.com or, 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 or at, <laughs> at gmail.com. And again, for those of you coming late, the new location, it is not that Tijuana Flats with the X. It is this one, 4027 Southdale Morberry Highway, Tampa, Florida. Do we need to set a new RSVP date? Because it was supposed to be Monday, but they let us extend it a little at the new location. But I think we should. No. Oh, the Monday before the show. I mean, no, I, it was supposed to be this past Monday. No, no. I mean, okay. I mean, we got RSVP. Just RSVP. Just okay. let us know. You know, it, it's one of those things. It's going to be really awkward to turn somebody away anyway. Right. And and quite and it, it's one of those things where, um, if you guys are just seeing that it's getting crazy and busy, and you guys have. You know, you know, I don't want to say don't stay for the whole thing, but you know what I'm saying. Try, you know, be observant, right? I mean, there's no other way of saying it. Yep. Um anything to say about the Winnebago Echo? It's piece crap. No, I'm just kidding. That's it's awesome. It's a game changer. You guys will see where it falls on our list of that's gonna be B plus. Uh yeah. Godzilla. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions or anything? Uh, because we are about to go. I um, 
I agree, 100,000 subscriber live party. So we might go live there. I'm not sure. I don't know how fun that would be for you guys. Um, you know, so I'm not even sure. Thank you so much, Chuck. Thank you. Um, no, no, no manufacturers have lease programs. Um, oh, Amber. Thanks so much, Amber. Uh, is the basement heated? Sure. I think so. I'd have to check again. What's the biggest motorhome we sell? 45 foot class A diesel. Um, Tampa RV show. Will we be there Saturday? We sure will. We sure yeah. will. Um, hey, and cook tires. What a combo. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How are you? Doing good, Link. Doing good, Link. Ryan. He's the guy who uh, we shared his video of him trying to steal my job. Hey, Link, Ryan. Don't try to steal my job. I do the reviews. No, I'm just kidding. You did a great job, buddy. We appreciate you. Uh, 100K is a big deal. Yes, it's a very big deal. It's actually life changing. <laughs> um, I will have a video the day we do hit $100,000. Um, not dollars. That'd be great. Shoot. I'd be out of here. <laughs> you guys would never see a review again. <laughs> but uh, we do have a video uh, the day that we hit 100,000 subscribers. So uh, you will see that then. Thoughts on Rockwood and Alpha Wolf? We don't sell either of them, but they are both great units. Burr, 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 burr. Thanks, Thank Steve, you. for that super chat. Hello from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Love the videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Yep. Uh, listen, for those of you guys who don't think the Camp RV show is going to be busy because of COVID, you guys are all wrong. You are severely wrong. Uh, Kimberly, the major New England shows have been canceled. We may, may need to come to Florida. You're not the only one. Online ticket sales from out-of-state people is up 30%, y'all. Uh, people are people. People need RVs. And not only that, and we're going to make a video on this. Everybody thinks the RV show is the best place to get the best deal. They're, lot, they're wrong. Every, every single one of you, yes, every single one of them is wrong, Will. You do not get the best deal at an RV show. I promise you this. I can get you that RV show deal today, a week after the show, the week during the show. Doesn't matter. Here is the advantage to the show. If you're in the market for an Integra Odyssey, a Coachman Leprechaun, a Thor Chateau, and a Nexus Triumph, you're able to go to one place and see them all at one time. That is the advantage. You don't need to drive to Ocala to see an Odyssey. You don't need to go to Tampa to see the Leprechaun. You don't need to do this to do that. You're able to see them all at one place at one time. And so, so uh, that's the advantage. Can we see more Una videos? No, but did you guys see? <laughs> no, not no. No, um, I think it was special. I mean, Eunice definitely shows up in the vlogs. And uh, if you guys didn't see that video the other day that Yuna was there when we did the review, it was actually really cute. She did a great job. Um, good job, Yuna. <laughs> but um, did you guys see my th the thumbnail picture? This is what Andrea got me for Christmas. She got me uh, this shirt, and it says Yuna's dad. That's me. So, yeah, I love my little Yuna. Oh, burr, burr, burr. thanks Thank so much. She's thrilled for you, Will, because Will is Thank now you. a general RV employee. Um, we are just about ready to order within the week, but can't come to Tampa. Uh, once we decide everything, you may hear from us. Yes, Camping Ian. Just go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that first contact me tab, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. You know what? Una does need to do more reviews. Um. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know you don't, so, but uh, wondering what are your opinions of them? Harold, you're going to hear all my opinions the week of the Tampa RV show when we give out our top five awards. I'm Jamie, a fan of, a fan of yours from Jamaica. Nice. Just so you know, we really enjoy your channel. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Jamie Dawkins, it's RV time. Cool runnings. <laughs>
That's one of my favorite movies. And actually, I watched it on Disney Plus about three weeks ago. <laughs> it's a great movie. Uh, did we buy our house? Yes, we did. Actually, here's what's some great news. Um, not great news. So we lost out on a house. And Andrea gets so mad <laughs> that I tell people this. So we lost out on a house. Um, and then we found a different house that was a lot cheaper, right? And then I was trying to get a conventional loan with 5% down. Then my credit score wasn't good enough. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I lived for those mistakes when I was 21 years old, right? Hey, takes you uh, this fast to ruin your credit. And then it, and it slowly goes up like this. But anyway, like I, I should have been able to qualify for the conventional, but we just missed it. But good thing enough, the house is priced low enough for the FHA, so we're able to get that. But a uh, good thing we didn't go all the way to the finish line on the more expensive house and then lose it last. Man, you know what I'm saying? Should get better credit score, man. That's I, right. I know. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Um. So, yeah, thanks for asking about that. Um. You should feature Uner and R U Uner Uner Una and RV reviews that you have featured pets. I know, I know. Una is just uh, she's just wild sometimes. Thanks, Aaron from Five to Go. Uh, when's the best time to get the best? Okay, here's the best time to buy an RV right now, and I don't mean now as in like today. I mean now as in whenever you're ready to buy. You could die next week. Man, that's so messed up. I know. I know. <laughs> Seriously, you could die next week. The best time to buy one's now. Um, and honestly, don't miss out on your life and adventure to wait six months for the better deal because it might not happen. And um, in six months, the new models could be out. It could be five thousand dollars more. Right. It, it, no, it really could be. Like yeah. a lot of units are are coming in more and more expensive. Because, you know, everybody thinks, see, the dealerships are always the bad guys, right? The dealerships are making more money. Well, wait, we are making a little bit more money. But it's not just us. It's the manufacturers are making more money. And the suppliers are making more money. And, and that that's all gets rolled over to you guys. But the best time to buy is when you're ready to buy. Um, just because, again, listen, an RV is a horrible investment. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you're, you're losing money right off the bat, new or used. So again, just it's it's all about enjoyment, you know. And and if you can buy an RV and use it, you know, a hundred times in your life, that's better than buying it, saving three, four thousand dollars, but fair. only using it ninety times in your life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If that kind of makes sense. Now, with that said, the best deals that I've ever seen, I made a video on this, was in March of 2020 during the first beginning of the pandemic. I made a video saying everybody missed out on deals of a lifetime. And listen, if you guys want to wait for the next pandemic, yeah, you'll get phenomenal deals. <laughs> but we didn't know if we had a job the next day. So that's the best time. Other than that, trust me, y'all. You guys are Matt's RV Reviews customers. You click the link down in the description below, and uh, you'll you'll get a phenomenal deal. Um, and again, it's just, you know. Yep. That's my sister. Hi. Hi. Um, Katriona. That's her real name? Yep. Oh, we call she her Katri. Katri. Hi. She'll be at the show as well. She will. Uh, did we tell her that yet yes. or no? Okay. I told her yesterday. Of course, <laughs> of course we did. We'll see you there. <laughs> She'll be at the show as well. She'll be selling stickers, selling keychains, and she will be there to take pictures of you guys with us. And we have like a nice backdrop like we're famous. Or like red, like the red carpet or whatever, but it's the <laughs> orange carpet. So, uh, hi, eyes wide open. Um, anybody else? Hi, Will and Matt. Howdy. Hi. Can't wait. Perfect. Um, uh, Matt's such a punk for stealing our videos. <laughs> what? When did I do that? Um, LOL. Oh, oh, about the best time to buy. Yeah, I did think I just saw you guys do a video on that. Check out Five to Go. Subscribe, subscribe. Um, Texas, if you purchase an RV today, which one would you purchase? Ooh, Will, which one would you purchase an RV today? Well, I would wait.
for our alliance to come out with their travel trailers. Oh, Will's a travel trailer guy. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Well, Will's a fifth wheel guy, but yeah, you know. Just see what they come out with. Yeah, true. Um, me personally, I mean, I like the Integra class seats, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're 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 getting the 25R, but Andrea, we're we're getting ours in spring, but Andrea might veto that to get the bigger one. Maybe like the 30Z or the 29V. Um, we're we're not 100% sure yet. Also, we're not buying one anymore. Technically, uh, General RV is going to give us one to use. Because <laughs> we're poor RV. Because we're poor YouTubers. <laughs> we can't afford a house in an RV. But we are doing a grand trip that we will tell you about a little bit later. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to travel around America. We're going to go to our Salt Lake City location. Uh, we are going to do meet and greets throughout. Uh, we're going to go up to Seattle, Washington and visit Andre's parents. And then we're going to drive home north and hit the Michigan stores and the Illinois stores. And we really want to try to meet as many of you guys as possible who lives in other parts of the country. Um, howdy, Matt. Is it becoming too hard for smaller RV manufacturers to compete with all the other consolidations? Not at all. Thanks, Disney Bill. Um, Alliance is crushing it. Yeah. And quite frankly, uh, Thor just buying Tiffin, that 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 paves the way for other people. Listen, th there's a lot of people who don't like the conglomerates. Um, and that's going to doors closed or doors open opportunities. You know, yeah. um, I think Nexus makes a really good product right now. Mm -hmm. Soon they'll sell out and then there'll be somebody else. You know, there'll always be somebody else. And yeah, I I think if if there's another RV manufacturer who wants to have the uh, official Matt and Will brand of RV, let us know. Um, yeah, definitely. Dutchman Yukon, how do you feel about them, Matt? Have you done a video on one? Yes, thank you so much. We've done a video yeah. on the Dutchman Yukon. Make sure you subscribe to our second channel. It's Matt's RV Reviews Towables. If you guys don't know who this guy is, that's because you don't watch Matt's RV Reviews Towables. This is Will. He records me for the Towable channel. Andre records me for this channel, the Motorhome channel. But, yes, we have done a video on the Dutchman Yukon. I don't remember it, but wasn't yeah, it, was like, a one, really good value? It was because it was almost like a, or no. in between oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a mid-profile and full profile with, like, a really good price point, I think. So, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, it looked really, really nice. What's your favorite bang for the buck budget class A gas? Um, well, it's really hard to say because I don't want to tell you my bang for my buck and budget class A gas, you know, because that's that's two different things. Yeah. Uh, here's what I will say. The new Coachman Encore, dollar for dollar, y'all, is knocking crap out of the park. I mean, we're killing it. We're selling them like hotcakes. It's that perfect combination of quality and price that I'm seeing. Now, again, that's 2021. Next year, they could raise their price, and I don't like them anymore. Um, you know, it's just it's just crazy what manufacturers do. They yeah, and it's really frustrating in in a sense because they they strike a little bit of gold and then they want to raise their prices. Right. Um, which I guess it makes sense, but it's just like. Dude, when you have a good product at a good price point, don't ruin it. But they, they all do. So, yep. uh, I want to buy a trailer from you, but we need to use my local dealership for service. Is that a problem? Sometimes it can be a problem, but like down here in Florida, it's not a problem. There's a million service places. You, yeah. you, you really got to find your service place. And here's what I will say if you're local, like if you're in like Maine, Right. Yeah. And there's one RV mechanic or in like Wyoming. Right. Mm -hmm. And the local dealership is the only place that sells that brand and there's nobody else to fix you up. Uh, then, yeah, you might want to give them a shot. But if we're five thousand dollars cheaper than them, you know, nobody should try to be making that type of money off of you. Right. Because even if we're five thousand dollars cheaper, we're not selling it to you at a loss. We're still making money. So now they're just trying to make way too much money. But here's the deal. Here's the deal, folks. Um, RV mechanics make a hundred to two hundred dollars per hour. They want to fix you up, so yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Um, question: Is the Integra Odyssey still the top of your list? I don't know. 
I guess you're going to have to see when we come out with our top five Class C awards. Are we affiliated with any Canadian dealers? No, we're not. And here's why. Because our headquarters is in Michigan, and we used to sell to Canadian people all the time. Now it's kind of an issue with the border closed and everything. But, um, you know, we'll see. Do we ever review truck campers? Nope, because we don't sell truck campers. Truck campers is a weird product. They're really expensive for what they are. Yeah. And, um, you know, we just not, not a huge fans of it. Well, Will, it's been 40 minutes. Um, cool. 467 people watch, and we thank absolutely everybody. Yeah. Is there anything you're thinking that maybe we should say to everybody? Um, I would like to say, well, first off, thank you so much to everybody for helping us reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. Well, we might die tonight, Will, in a, in a burning fire, so we haven't reached Do We have it enough yet. momentum that I think we would still hit it. I mean, six feet under. Even dead. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Truth, truth, yeah. Um, I know, you know, I'm not like exactly part of the main channel, but no, still no. helping everything. No, not at all. No, no <laughs> um, but no, it's still very exciting. You know, um, Jed and I worked with Matt, you know, back when he had less than 5,000 subscribers. I still remember the day when he was going to hit 5,000 subscribers. Yep. And that was such a big deal. And it was like, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know, Jen invented, we're starting in three, two, one. Jen invented the jump. Jen invented the logo and the thumbnail. In everything that you see about Mass RV reviews, she is behind the scenes. You just yep. don't see her. Exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much. She still for helps her every day, you know, with thumbnails. Not every day. Sometimes she gets days. sometimes she gets mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt likes to do things very last minute. Right. He likes to plan. Yeah, so like sometimes I'll send her like a thumbnail to do, like, hey, um, this video comes out in an hour, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, she does a great job. So, uh, so yeah, what else were you saying, Will? So, um, but anyways, yeah, I just remember that Matt has come so long. You know, obviously we weren't here in the beginning helping as much as we wanted to be, you know, because of the distance and everything. But I'm so glad to be a part, and that leads. And to my next thing, I just really, really, really want to thank you all seriously from the bottom of my heart. Aww. It would not be, I would not be where I am today helping Matt if it wasn't for all of you guys. It took you guys to prove it to General. General is a great company. Yep. They're taking great care of us. Um, but again, it's just, you know, without you guys, without our, our team, which, you know, is you guys, not just Matt and I, um, we wouldn't be where we were today. Thanks so much. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Tomorrow, we have a Tiffin Allegro 32SA. And give me a second, actually. Um, oh, by the way, Will, we didn't even tell anybody about our accident today. I know. Tell them. All right, so Matt and I have a goal when we're recording to hit, do seven videos. Because we are now recording every single day. Yeah, so seven videos. A day. A day, which That's is the perfect. Yep. Yep. It's one Tell week's worth of videos. And it's perfect because we've been working on this for a while. Yeah. There's some big time. We did 10 videos a day yeah. and then we're worn out for the next day. And this and that seven videos for Tobles is that sweet spot. It's a full week of videos in a day. And, and we're not too tired and, and we're not burnt out because you guys can tell when I'm burnt out yeah. on a video. And, you know, the sun setting, and that's like our 12th video that day. Exactly. So we took it down to seven videos. Again, it's the perfect amount. And um, so we were at four today, and um, we went in, you know, usually around four, we'll kind of take a little break and just, you know, chill for a sec. Um, so we went in, and we parked the golf cart, um, you know, kind of over to the side. And somebody moved it. And somebody moved it. We go inside. Oh, they move it while we're inside. We come back out, and Matt jumps on the golf cart. He's driving, and um, they move in next to this pole. Sorry. You're fine. They move in next to this pole that Matt can see. It's a very small pole, and he turns, and he has his leg on the side of the golf cart. Like an idiot. So here's his leg. Here's the pole. Here's the golf cart. And they all just smash together. So we had to cut today short. Can, can you see, see it? I, it actually looks a lot better. Yeah, Jen, Jen and Will took care of me. It doesn't look bad, but 
it, you can't tell on camera. It was, we had to stop recording. We thought on we were going to go to the hospital. On a level one out of ten, it was a ten. <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, he smashed it. And right. At first, I thought it was just a golf cart. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that golf cart's, like, wrecked. And then I realized his foot was in between it. Yeah. I was like. Oh, yeah. No, I, I was about to own ten more of you. This was about to be a good day. And, it, I mean, it was it was turning purple right away. Yep. So it looks a lot better now. Yeah, and it, feel, and it feels better. We didn't break anything, you don't think. And no, not we don't think. It, 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 like, it's swollen. You just can't see it on camera too well, but it's yeah. all good. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we will be going back to work tomorrow recording. Now we got to record, uh, like, eight or nine videos tomorrow yeah. and be tired. But it's all good. So was that it, or was there anything else? I think that was it. Oh, tomorrow's video, yes. Will be the oh, Tiffin yeah. Allegro 32 SA. And I do want to give a big shout out to Doug and Kathy from New York. Uh, I want to apologize and thank you. I want to thank you them for buying and ordering a Tiffin Allegro 32 SA. But we are not in they wanted me to do a review on it, but we are not doing a review on yours. Because yours, they're from New York, and they're picking it up in Virginia. Yeah. And I'm not going to Virginia right now. You know what too I'm saying? Cold. Yep, too cold right now. Not as bad as Ohio. Right, right. So Ohio we did the cold. one in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Cool. And you guys did leave enough comments on the Toronto video, hashtagging van life. Uh, the video after that will be the all-new Winnebago Rebel. Not Rebel. Yeah, Rebel. Yeah. So great. That's it. That's the show, folks. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Um, again, if you're coming in late, please watch the replay. Please fast forward to the five-minute mark where we talk about the Tampa RV 100,000 subscriber meet and greet. It is now at this Tijuana Flats. Yep. Do not go to the wrong Tijuana Flats. And make sure you drive now. No need to Uber or Lyft because we're now going to a Tijuana Flats with plenty of space. And plenty of parking. That's right. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Um, yes. Okay. Hang on. Am I, are we ready to go? Yep. Good night. Good night. Yeah. By the way, camping in, I don't get this whole class B thing. When I was growing up, living in a van down by the river wasn't cool. <laughs> and I was like, what everybody wants to do. I don't get it. But thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Thanks so much. Stay safe, y'all, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Did you end it? Uh-uh. <laughs>